Media. Quick tips. So, what exactly is a lower third? Well, it's one of those little info box thingies that you see slipping on and off videos. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can make your own quickly and easily in Sony Vegas Pro. So let's do that. First, we need something that we can use as a bottom third. Now, if you're good with Photoshop, of course, you can make your own. But as this is the quick and easy method, let's find one online. And let's type in the search box Free Banner Backgrounds Transparent PNG. And I'll confine the search to images to save time. Well, as you can see, there's plenty here to choose from. But I quite like the simple blue one at the beginning, this one here. So I'll click on it. And here we can see the checkerboard pattern, which shows it is indeed a transparent background. So let's click visit. And here's the full size image. And as we can see, the notes confirm that we are free to use it for any purpose. Click download, accept the suggested size and away we go. Right, download finished. I'll just drag it to my desktop for later on. OK, let's go into Sony Vegas Pro. Now, my version is 13, but this technique should work with most versions. As you can see, I've already got a random video clip on which to lay my bottom third, but we're going to need a couple of more video tracks above this to make it all work. So let's right click here and choose Insert Video Track. And once more. And there we go. Now drag our saved PNG onto the track above it. And there it is, albeit a bit big. We can fix that by clicking the Event Pan Crop tool here. And making sure we're on the first keyframe at the beginning of the timeline, set the aspect ratio to the same as that of your video. In my case, that's TV widescreen 16.9. Then use the drag handles to size your banner and place it in the position where you want it to appear. Now that looks about right to me. So now we can come out of the event pan crop tool. Next, we need to add our text. So right click on the track above and choose insert text media. And I'll just type in some random text as an example. Well, it's obviously too big, so I'll reduce the font size here. Yeah, that looks better. Now let's move the text over the banner to check. And I'll just drag it on. Not bad, but I think I'd like a funkier style of font. So I'll just go here to change it. Yeah, that's nicer. Now a final adjustment of position. Excellent. Now we need to drag and trim the text clip to exactly match the length of the banner, like this. So we've got our lower third with text, but as you can see, its appearance is a bit sudden, as indeed is its departure. So let's add a bit of magic by using transitions. Now first, we need to add a fade of the same size to both the banner and the text clip by dragging their top corners like this. My fades are about 20 frames long. Now open the transitions and choose a suitable animation for your third. For this example, I'm going to choose from the push transitions and I'm looking for one that will push my banner onto the screen sideways. And this one here, push right, seems to fit the bill. So I'll add this same transition to both the fades by dragging and dropping. And if I now slowly click through the sequence, you can see how it will play out. Obviously, a longer fade will give you a slower entrance. So just choose the length of fade that suits your purpose. Now the exit is done in exactly the same way, by applying a fade and transitions to the other end of the clips. Now just for fun, instead of taking it off the same way I brought it on, I'm going to look for a transition that will push it off the bottom of the screen. This one here, push down, seems to fit the bill. So I'll apply it to both fades again. And once more, I'll just click it through slowly to show you the effect. And there it goes. And that's it, the job is done. All that's left now is to select, render to video, and this is what you get.
thanks for watching. This has been a major quick tip, and I have been William Hugh.